Hey, this is Larry Janeski from Dr. Energy Saver. If your home has air leaking through the exterior walls and your exterior walls are cold, well, you can do something about that and Dr. Energy Saver can install dense packed cellulose in your exterior walls. Let's take a look. We have other videos online about the advantages of cellulose insulation over fiberglass insulation and uh, videos about how cellulose doesn't burn in a fire. But cellulose is recycled newspaper and it's ground up and a fire retardant is added to it uh, so it won't burn and boric acid which is a very safe uh, a uh, chemical that's mined from the ground like salt is added to it and boric acid is in eyewash and so forth and that prevents mold from growing and bugs don't like to eat the stuff. But uh, cellulose is excellent insulation. Now we, we blow cellulose in attics, we'll open blow it as we say into attics uh, 17 inches deep uh, to get an R60 uh, R value in attics. But what we're going to do here is we're going to put this cellulose insulation in these walls and we're gonna use a dense packing method. And with dense packing, we have to access the uh, wall cavities between each stud with a hole, a two and a nine sixteenths hole. And we're gonna insert a fill tube in that hole and fill that wall with cellulose. But it's not so easy as just blowing it in the wall. There's a technique that we use with our fill tube with the pressures on our machine set uh, very high. The blowers are blowing with lots of air pressure and this technique uh, actually enables us to really pack this cellulose tight into the wall, very tight, and it will stop airflow from moving through the wall cavities. And this is a big advantage as air won't leak in or out of electrical outlets and switch plates and between the baseboard and the floor and at other openings in the wall cavities. And certainly behind the siding, we have gaps in the plywood and exterior sheathing that once we dense pack it into that cavity, it will stop that airflow as well. In order to dense pack cellulose in the walls, we need a big machine, one with big blowers. We need a lot of air power, and we have two blowers in this machine. We can adjust the air pressure as necessary for dense packing. It has a big hopper up here for us to put bales of our True Soft cellulose insulation inside, and the agitator in the machine breaks it up and blows it at the pressure we want through this hose, and then we gradually reduce the hose down to a small fill tube that fits in the wall. So we've drilled an access hole so we can dense pack this wall cavity. And in this case, we do have some fiberglass bats. We knew that. Uh, and these fiberglass bats don't fill the whole wall cavity. Uh, two by four wall cavity is three and a half inches thick. And this uh, fiberglass bat is only a couple inches uh, uh, thick. So to show you, we have what's called a boroscope. And here we have a a camera with little light on this uh, flexible wand and we have a digital display and I can stick this in the wall cavity which we have done when we investigated this house and we knew that we can see on our boroscope that we can see the back of the uh, insulation the paper facing of the insulation and we can see the drywall here and a significant space between uh, the insulation in the drywall. So the cavity is not full at all. It's allowing air to flow right through it, air leakage uh, from the inside to the outside, from the outside to the inside. It depends uh, if you're on the first floor or the second floor and it's summer or winter, but air is flowing through this cavity and it's not nearly insulated as well. The insulation should be in direct contact with both the drywall and the exterior sheathing. This, uh, essentially, this wall cavity is half empty and we are gonna fix that. Now your home may have uh, cedar shakes like this house has. It may have cedar shingles, in which case uh, we would take a shingle off wherever we want to drill and then uh, put the shingles back. And there may be a little bit of caulking and a little bit of touch-up paint on your part required after we do the job. You may have clapboard uh, siding, in which case we remove a section of clapboard to drill our access holes to the wall cavities and then put the clapboard back and again, a little touch up of the paint on your part. Um, you may have vinyl siding, which comes off quite easily and goes back on easily. And typically with vinyl siding, you don't even know we were there. Aluminum siding, uh, that uh, comes off too and we drill our holes across. Uh, but when the aluminum siding goes back, you'll see little nail, hole, uh, nail heads, just tiny little nail heads in that course of siding at the bottom of the siding every couple of feet. Uh, and 
hardly noticeable, but that's what's required with aluminum siding. With um, this house, uh, these people have decided to reside their house. And in fact, they're stripping all of this siding off of this house next month and having vinyl siding installed. So what we're doing is drilling right through the siding uh, so we don't have to remove it because it's gonna be replaced anyway. And in this case, it makes it easier for us. Now cellulose is very safe. Uh, the only reason I'm wearing a dust mask is because there is some dust. As we blow that cellulose with the air uh, that comes through this hose, the extra air has to come out of the hole and it brings some dust with it. Uh, having some uh, cellulose in, the, uh, in your yard and so forth is very safe. It's just like mulch and it'll, uh, we'll clean up most of it, of course, but the dust is, is no problem uh, whatsoever. We never dense pack from the inside of the house for this reason, it's dusty. Okay, we have this hose seven feet up into this wall. So that hose is all the way up there. I'm gonna use this fiberglass just to prevent cellulose from coming out with the air, keep it a little cleaner. I have my remote control. I can blow air, air and material, and cellulose, or shut it off. So here goes the cellulose into the cavity, and you can see it running through the uh, hose at high speed, high velocity. And first I'm gonna wait for the cavity to fill, and then once it's full, I'm gonna, I can see the material stopping in the hose. I'm gonna pull the hose back, and uh, advance it more, pull it back, advance it, and that's that dense packing um, procedure, that dense packing action that creates that cellulose to be so packed in that cavity. So right now it's going through at high speed, and I can see it and I can feel it, and I'm waiting for the cavity to fill. It's just amazing how much insulation goes into a cavity that's supposedly already insulated. Okay, and I can hear it slowing down. Okay, I pull it back until more material goes in, and it's still five feet up in that wall. And this material will eventually slow down and stop. I'm gonna pull it back before my hose clogs. All right. And this is the result. You can see that the cellulose is very, very hard and packed in there and air will not go through that wall cavity anymore. We can see the material moving through the hose and then as it, as it uh, fills up in the cavity, it stops and then he pulls the hose out and then it goes more and so forth and that's the dense packing method. When we're done, we plug the holes with a variety of different wood plugs or foam plugs in drywall that get uh, patched over. Here we are inside the house and the guys are dense packing this wall cavity and I can hear all the cellulose going into this wall cavity uh, from the inside. And it's amazing how much insulation goes into a wall that's supposedly already insulated. This is gonna make a big difference for this homeowner because the surface temperature of the inside of these walls in the winter will be a lot warmer Therefore, this room will be warmer because when we're trying to heat the room, the heating system makes warm air, in this case it's hot water uh, heat, uh, baseboard radiator heat, and the air, the warm air comes up from that, and if it hits a cold wall, well, that's gonna cool the air, and it's gonna take longer to heat this room, and when the heating system shuts off, the room will cool down a lot faster because the walls are cold. By adding all this insulation, stopping airflow through the walls and uh, making the inside surface of the drywall warmer, well, when that warm air rises from those radiators, it is not gonna be cooled off nearly as much and this room will heat up faster and retain its heat longer, making the homeowner and their family more comfortable and reducing their fuel bills. Well, this house is gonna be a lot more energy efficient. It's gonna leak a lot less air and the surfaces of the walls will be warmer in the winter and cooler in the summer. If you have a home that you think would benefit from insulation, air sealing, you'd like to make your house more energy efficient, warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer, and lower your cost of home ownership by reducing your fuel and electric bills, call us. We'd love to help you at Dr. Energy Saver.